And so then, what was the first flamenco song you, you, you could play? Sevillanas, I think. Okay, and is it hard? Was it hard to study for you? Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, it was hard, but it was something I wanted to do. And then, were well, your first own, own, own uh, songs, do you, do you still, or do you still recall them? No. I, I wrote a song about a girl I had a crush on in high school or something. I think that might have been my first song. I, don't, I can't remember it for the life of me, but... Was it good then, or...? I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, well, then, your new album. Um, let me see. Um, yeah, the, the, the more I know. Um, mm -hmm. uh, it's for you, uh, what well, well, you said about the song, that it was getting you into another way of writing. Yes. Not uh, describing wise, but more from your own p point of view. Absolutely. Can you can you, can you tell um, when that shift came about for you? Uh, <clears throat> it started out unconsciously, and then um, as I would play the songs on State of Mind more, I realized that that uh, that I that I wanted to. To, to grow as a writer and that the way that I was going to be able to do that was to continue on that path of, of really looking a little deeper for the poetry in the way that I experienced life rather than sort of grabbing the first rhyme that comes to mind, which, you know, which tends to be sort of these visual images that are very stock that people use, you know, mm -hmm. the blue sky and... and, and, and and the green grass and the yeah. sunshine and so you know I, I you know I, I, I tried to, to to look for things that were a little different and yet not so out there that people won't know what I'm talking about hopefully and so for you one certain lines in that song that you say well hey that's the way I'm writing now some rhyme structures in, in words I mean the whole Second verse of the song is, um, you know, walking through the afternoon, listening to the month of June as sunlight turns to cooler moon and cricket songs. So it's all touch, smell, sound. You know, the moon is cool. It's not bright yeah. for me. You know. And aren't you maybe, I don't know, maybe a strange question, but is it for you, uh, did you hesitate to write in this way because of, uh, well, people that listen to your music are more, uh, let's say, uh, sight-based? I mean, I think as an artist, you have to be brave and just go on, on the journey that you know, you're supposed to be on. There's always going to be somebody that criticizes you or, or says that you know, your writing is weird or um, whatever, but you, you just have to go forward with it because <coughs> it's sort of your destiny, you know? And it's the same way, it's just... Can you say that this is a turning point then as the same it was that you moved to New York and stopped being a uh, background singer? Mm, yeah, I don't know if it's as big of a turning point as that. I think that was a huge turning point, you know, to, to leave Florida and move to New York and, and start this having no idea what was going to happen. I mean, I, I didn't have any kind of record deal when I moved to New York. There was no, no you know prospect of what was going to happen. We just jumped into it and just sort of having this confidence that, that, that at least if I tried that, you know, that something would happen. 